need scrap. Deer crossing, ah, oh, something's never changed.
these nests. I got a use for you. Uh, hey, me again. So, uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp and... I know. <laughs> I know, I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but... Didn't have a choice. See, Boozer... Boozer was gonna die, and, uh... Well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but... Like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um, he lost the arm anyway, and, and now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. Goddamn schizo. 
you know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento, Fresno, I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's, he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California, Oregon, and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini mart or no 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 man he would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee you know make them more in a day than i've ever made in a week you know it's this game the boozer and i used to play before we rode out of lost lake for good we used to call it uh who you were you know we'd look at someone we try to guess who they were before the shit went down you know you know i met a few drug addicts a lot of ex-cons uh no accountants so, that makes sense, if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe it's because I was telling the truth. <sighs> I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but that, that, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey... <laughs> Look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you. Yeah? Go at it, fellas.
Jesus. Well, better have a look around. St. John, it's okay. Gotta close my eyes for a bit. All right, okay, let's go. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I You're his friend. The only one he's got.
Boozer's fine. He'll live anyway. Hold on. Okay. Good luck out there, Deke. Hey, Boozer. How's the, uh, work going? Excuse me, I ain't got time to fucking chit-chat. Later. Huh. A rusty nail. Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, hey. I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom, to store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. Not as many listeners I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. Fix this. Sure Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers. You danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, we're all paying the price. Are we gonna starve? I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Game is getting scarce. Can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this much. We're not turning on each other. No, sir. We'll never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Goddamn truth or bullshit. Last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves to the teeth, came in, killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, if you're gonna tell parables, why don't you just get them right? Hey, Deke. How you been? Blair, how you doing? Here you go. Yep, that's nice. Yeah, good. Good one. Uh, good choice. <laughs> yep. Um, okay. Uh, yep. I hey, worked Deke. at the Humane Society. Had a small office and a dog pen outside of Sisters.
Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were... No, goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, just, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives and Mike, hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days? You huh? hold on, he's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Don't you knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing down black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. Okay, oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Told that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. <sighs> Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch.